This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back, everybody, to more Ace Attorney Let's Plays. This time we're playing Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations. This yeah. is, unlike the other four that we've done, this one is essentially more a... a prosecutor? It's, it's a spin-off game. Okay. So it's... I mean, I consider it to be part of the main series, but, like, right. it plays differently. Okay. And, like, it, What's with it the just What's with the people modeling on the bottom screen? Those are silhouettes of Everyone's some like, of the characters Ugh. that we will encounter Ugh. in this Let's okay. Play. Also, funny thing, we're recording this on uh, July 25th, 2019. 2019. As of to this time, I have not uploaded even the first of Justice for All video. video. <laughs> I was just this thinking could, about that. This could backfire so bad if people were like, I really don't like your Ace Attorney Let's Play. You know what? If nobody we watches like them, them, it's like, oh, shoot. It's fine. We've had so much fun <laughs> We've with these. we recorded a lot of these. we recorded a bunch. So, people liked our first one. Yeah. I mean, it didn't get as much views as like our Humongous Entertainment okay, Let's Play, Okay, but though. people are obsessed so, with Humongous Entertainment. So, Marty, before we begin, yes. what are your thoughts? What do you think is going to happen What do I this think game? is going to happen? Oh. And like, what do you so, think this game is going to be like? Oh, uh, one question I have. Does this take place before um, the case with Ooh. Gant? This, okay, so this game takes place after Trials and Tribulations, mostly, but before the flashback case from Apollo where a Phoenix loses his badge. Okay, so... Most of the game takes place between these two times. Okay, okay. I um, I don't exactly know what the heck is going to happen, but I really <laughs> hope that um, we're a prosecutor, so we get to guilty people this time, which is going to be fun. Also, uh, one thing I should point out, this is widely considered to be, like, the weakest of the Ace Attorney games, unless you're counting the Professor Wayne crossover. Oh. That said, I think Marty's really gonna like this, for two main reasons. Is I won't there get a lot of female characters? There's a lot of weird female characters. Yes! I won't get into the other one, but I think you're gonna figure it out <laughs> okay. pretty quickly. Okay, Let's go. Oh. Oh. It just starts? Oh. Episode turnabout one, visitor? Turnabout Visitor. Oh, man. Is Edgeworth gonna oh, break and this, in somewhere? This is also... Case two of Apollo is my least favorite case of all time. This is close second, but this is shorter. This, but it's shorter. This is just okay. kind of a boring first, first case. First episode is always kind of boring. Let's right, go. Let's, let's start. Go. I want to. I want to see. <sighs> March fourteenth, eleven sixteen a.m. Question Somewhere mark. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. To make sure the defendant is found guilty, whatever choice do I have? That's the job of a prosecutor, after all. Th that may be true, but why? Why go this far? Sorry, maybe I wasn't clear enough. But a guilty verdict is all that matters to me. Yeesh. No matter what the cost. Yeesh. Oh, come on, this was in Edgeworth's office. This is not Buff Edgeworth. Like gym teacher view. Wow, he looks straight out of Final Fantasy. I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. Always have been, always will be. Is he wearing a wig? Or is that just like the most awkward band? Maybe he was king of prosecutors before. <laughs> Maybe. March 14th, 2.05 a.m. This is real early in the morning. Oh, yeah. Prosecutors building, 12th floor hallway. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. We walk around? Yep. Oh, so then it plays like, um... It plays very differently from other Ace Attorney games. Okay, I'm down for this. And we also have a sideways pose for Edgeworth. Yeah. <laughs> also, hey, buddy, how, it's been a while. You weren't in Apollo at all. Yeah, we haven't seen you since basically like the first <laughs> I gotta game, brush up on my faux British accent. It's hard to believe I've been away from my office for a whole month. I hope Detective Gumshoe has been keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. At two in the morning? Why are you coming? Hmm? The door is unlocked. Is this gonna turn into a horror game? Detective Gumshoe? Hmm? What's this smell? It's very familiar. Blood? He doesn't even have a rolling suitcase. Edgeworth is there. Whoa. What, what the? They threw him into the books. <laughs> What's the meaning of this?
Identify yourself. Shut up. Hm. You've got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office. Is that a fret? Let me make one thing very clear. What? No one gets away with committing murder in my office. No one. Hey, Drip's got guts. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> it uh, helps that he's had some stuff happen. Yeah. My name is Miles Edgeworth, and I work as a prosecutor in my local district. Little did I know that upon my return home after a month abroad, I would be thrust into a multitude of cases and some very frantic and busy days. <laughs> yeah. Poor dude. March 14th, 2.56 a.m., High Prosecutor's Office. Roar, police! 1202. <laughs> also, we're back in his office, which we haven't seen since haven't the Damon Gate so case. Oh, he's still got his King of Prosecutors trophy. He's still got he's his, still steel, got his samurai steel Samurai thing from Wendy Oldbag. Yeah. He likes the Steel Samurai that much. You know that, you know that thing where they say time to hit the books? Well. <laughs> this is, this they, is, they don't mean that literally, dude. But kind of. This is what it feels like. <laughs> I really like this top-down perspective, to be honest. It's not quite top-down, but yeah. But like, that thing. Ah, <laughs> finished photographing the victim's body, sir! Very well. Please continue your investigation. Yes, yeah, sir! <laughs> some good animations in this game. Yeah, there's some great animations in here. Ah! Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Are you okay, sir? Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. When I heard that a murder had taken place in your office, I ran up here straight away! This is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct. Is it just me or does he look extremely buff these days? <laughs> He's been working out at the local gym because <laughs> they gave him a one month free trial. <laughs> and the one they assigned to handle the murder case for the time being. He was up this early. <laughs> You're looking a little pale, sir! Are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine. However... Back! Look what they did to your office! It's totally trashed! I'll say, the culprit sullied the my floor with dirt rather well. No one gets away with tracking mud in my <laughs> office. <laughs> Whoa! Sounds like you're really getting burned up on this whole thing! This crime was committed in my office, so it is my responsibility to solve it. Oh, that's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, time to do some investigating. Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant facts and leads. I forgot how groovy the soundtrack is. This is a very groovy soundtrack. This almost looks like it's made with, like, RPG Maker type. No. Very Not, different. It's very different, but, like... That um, is top-down. This is, like, a yeah, side-scroller almost. This is a side-scroller, but I can't think of what it reminds me of then. Maybe, like... Not Ghost Trick, but kind no, of... No. Maybe, like, Chain of Memories? Yeah, yeah, it's more like Chain that when you're in okay. battle. Yeah, it's like in that. battle. We must not over overlook anything, no matter how small, if we are to find the truth. So I'll keep any leads or information we find etched into the forefront of my mind. The real question is, is there a um, obnoxious female sidekick in this game? There might be more than one. <laughs> more than one? Oh, did Edgeworth even remotely put up with that? <laughs> no, they just tag along. They just tag along. Oh my gosh, you're so amazing! Like, All bags the up. partner. That's what I was gonna say that was funny before this. I started watching after we finished all of the trilogy, I'm like, oh, I need to watch the anime again. Because I started watching the anime, and then Artie was like, no, we're gonna play these games instead, and you're gonna like it. He was right. <laughs> you he get was, peach he was... tea, <laughs> and you're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate it, yeah. <laughs> no, but we started, I started watching it again, and like, I'm not kidding when I say, right before the first trial, it's like, Edgeworth drives in his red sports car, <laughs> yeah. gets out of the car, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's Edgeworth, the prosecutor! I'm like, nobody would ever hang out outside of the law office or, like, the They would if there was a guy who looked like Edgeworth who was a Maybe. prosecutor. Maybe. He's, like, 20 He's very or popular on the fan but, girls. But it's so funny that they did that, and then, like, Phoenix Wright's, like, riding on a bike, parks in the back. He's like, okay, time for the first case. <laughs> How long are they gonna make me just stand here in the black background? Speaking of things that pique my curiosity, why, of all places, did the murder occur in my office? Crime scene, my office. Is it really coincidence the murder took place oh, in my office? Oh, that's new. Logic. <laughs> Logic! <laughs> hmm, I get the nagging feeling that this is something important to keep in mind. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Logic! This is his version of the Use Magatama, it. basically. I it's, just like how... It's cool, but also, like, no, not, not no, really okay. necessary. No, okay, but I love how Phoenix Wright needs literal, like, magic to help him. <laughs> and Ezra's just like, Justice, I'm just smart. <laughs> Apollo Justice needs, like, a bracelet, and then, like, Ezra's like... Oh, yeah, as per the usual, we will be spoiling the heck out of all of the games that came up previous to this. That includes Ace Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright Justice for all Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, and Apollo Justice. Yep. If you have not played any of these games, you're gonna get spoiled. Also, why the heck would you watch this one and not the other Oh, also, ones? if you haven't watched our Let's Plays for that, you probably should, because we're otherwise we'll be like, why are they talking about Von Karma going to the spa? That never yeah. happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that myself, that sir. <laughs> I mean, you can't really say it's just a coincidence, can you? No, not really. Especially because of this. The key to your office. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I played the second version of these games, because the second game I had to play on an emulator, it right. lagged a bit. It, this game might lag because it's more complicated because you actually move around. Oh, okay. the, key to, the key to your office. For business reasons, the office is locked. What do you mean, sir? If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Logic? I've never heard of this before. <laughs> By finding the connection between two pieces of information and connecting them, new information is born. That is the end result of using logic. It's called a syllogism. Well, his smile looks <laughs> creepy in this. So how do you use it? It <laughs> gums you! <laughs> how do you think logically? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> First, I recall information through the logic button and then connect them together. Now to touch the logic button and recall the facts. And <laughs> Phoenix doesn't have logic. Crime scene my office. Is it a coincidence to twist my office? We all know this. Phoenix Wright just like bluffs, it. bluffs his That's way through everything. Christoph Gavin is such a butt and he's super evil, but he has a point when he's like, Phoenix Wright is a lawyer who like relies on luck and bluffs to get his way through trials. <laughs> I mean, he's a jerk, he's, but he has he, a point. He's got a point. <laughs> my office. The office key for security reasons, this office store has a lock built into it. We select those two and then connect. Ooh, <laughs> and it makes an explosion in his head. <laughs> for security reasons, all prosecutors' doors are outfitted with locks, which means it would have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Ergo, it's impossible to dismiss the location of this crime as mere coincidence. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, sir! There must be a reason why someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? Why did this happen in the office? What was the killer after? After that King of Prosecutors trophy. But he didn't take it! He couldn't take it. Edgeworth was <laughs> Edgeworth like- Edgeworth cemented it to his desk, or bolted it to his desk. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that proud of it. <laughs> You're really on the ball today, Mr. Edgeworth. That's some beautiful logic, sir. <laughs> this is <laughs> way weird. <laughs> yes, well, when you follow leads to their conclusion, only the truth remains. However, the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray far from the truth as well. Oh, we get penalties for doing that wrong? <laughs> but if I think carefully before piecing to leads together, the logic should flow. So that's either, like, that's not a health meter, that's just, like, a truth meter, and the farther you get from the truth, the less it gets. It could be like that. Either that or Edgeworth is so embarrassed by having bad logical that's more thought processes, think... he's like, DAW! Slaps himself. Yeah, I think that's more Edgeworth. <laughs> Edgeworth only does stuff to perfection. Well, let's get started with our investigation, shall we? Yes, sir! Begin investigation. Hi, prosecutor's office, room 1202. The basics of any good investigation is to examine everything, sir. I know that. And when I want to examine something, I simply touch the examine button. I love how all of, <laughs> all of the expressions are still the same as their portraits, even though it's in this little 8-bit mode. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Oh, and if you ever feel lost and want to talk, just press the partner button, okay? I'll give you great, precise advice as an ace investigator, sir. <sighs> Something I have to try later if I have free time, I suppose. <laughs> He's our partner. So now we actually get to move around. This is really cool. So this is... Okay, so this is the other reason I think you're really gonna like this game, actually. It's all investigation periods, basically. <laughs> oh my gosh. Great. What have we here? Could this perhaps be the murder weapon? So it would mean that the killer made their escape after disposing of their gun here. Which is dumb. Uh, either that or they didn't want to like be walking down the hallway like, is that a, a gun? gun? <laughs> Every prosecutor has a gun! <laughs> I think I've seen one of these before. Hmm. Care to enlighten me as where as to where? Oh, I know! I was issued the exact same model. I think. <sighs> Detective. I don't really like guns all that much. I mean, they're really dangerous. But now that I think about it, you do see this model around the precinct a lot, sir. 
I don't use mine much, except in emergencies, so that's why I didn't recognize it. So it's the same type of revolver as the ones used by the precinct's detectives. Cool. Okay. Do you have anything to report? Uh, sir! Yes, sir! Uh, nothing out of the ordinary right now, sir! And yet there's something out of the ordinary right in front of my eyes. Talk about a contradiction. Something out of the ordinary, huh? I should look around a bit more. Oh, it's hard to tell who's talking sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. Can you sit on the couch? I hope we can solve this case quickly. I'd like to return to relaxing on this sofa. That thing looks a billion times softer than my mattress at home. C can I sit on it too? Just for a little while, sir. Detective Gumshoe, you know I can't allow that. Until this case is solved, neither of us has time to spare, let alone rest. You're right, sir! I'm gonna work hard and be a real trooper to the end! Even once this case is over, I don't think you can afford to take any time off. That's rude. My chest set! How dare they! <laughs> yeah, they ruined all the pieces. Come, just examine- <laughs> He kept it like <laughs> slimy. <laughs> Ouch! They even knocked over your chest set. I had it all set up, ready for when you got back. I figured we could play a few games. I had no idea you were interested in chess. I'm actually pretty good at checkers, so I thought I'd give chess a try. Hmm. In that case, I suppose I can set some time aside after we solve this case. That's really nice. Though I don't expect the games to tax my mental acuity much. That's fine. <laughs> at least he's nice enough. Yeah. They finished photographing the body, so it should be alright to examine the area. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking um, nook and cranny. Man, it's like Harry Potter without glasses. <laughs> What do we have here? Hey, I think I've seen one of these before. It's a police badge, detective. Oh, hey! I have the exact same thing, actually. What a kawinky dink! Let's take a look inside. This guy looks like nothing the same in his portrait compared to, like, him on the ground. Him on the ground, he looks so thin. There is, like, his face. Is he also is, like, yeah. Mr. Buddy Faith. It would appear that our victim was a detective just like you. Wouldn't he have recognized him? Maybe not. He might have been new. Yeah. Hmm, I see I have to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. I'm imagining, no, like, not yet. I'm imagining, like, Edgeworth, like, charging up his mind power, like... <laughs> it's like Apollo. <laughs> yeah, like that, except, like, in his mind he's like, oh, of course. See, my thing, like, I think the logic is a cool idea. I just think it's totally unnecessary, because everything that the logic determines, you would just find, find out normally, out basically. Normally. Like, it's really basic stuff, like, oh, the guy was shot, like, with a, like, had a bullet in his heart, and there was a gun near it, like him, and it was smoking. Therefore, the gun shot the bullet that killed him. So, oh, bravo, Mr. Edgeworth, you're so great. <laughs> It's like, no, any, any old doofus could have figured that out. <laughs> oh my god. There are a few exceptions. Though. Yeah. Let's see here. Hmm? There's blood all over his low, lower abdominal area. Looks like the bullet passed clean through his stomach area, sir. Ugh. In other words, he was shot. Yup, and until the autopsy's done, I don't think we'll know much more than that. Please have the body sent to the morgue once they're done processing the crime scene. Crime scene notes jotted down in my organizer. Are you going to be okay with keeping track of the evidence we find, sir? Of course. This is the safest way I know to keep track of it all. <laughs> this <Okay>. is not legal! <laughs> Alright, if you say so, I guess you could break the law. Wow. So, imagine. <laughs> Edgeworth just came home from, like, Europe or wherever the heck he came from. He's like, ugh. Time to go back to the prosecutor office because he lives there. <laughs> <laughs> lives at the prosecution office. He probably and does. Then, and then, like, he's like, oh, okay. But well, why would he need a car then? A car? He has a car. That red car. Yeah, it's true. Why would he need that? He could just like. Well, he had it until Gant stuffed the body in there yeah. and it became evidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if like, if something becomes evidence, can you no longer get it back until after the trial's done, or can you not get it back after? I don't know. Like, oh man. I wouldn't know. I keep all the evidence I find either in in or with my organizer. When I want to re-examine a piece, I have to but touch the organizer button. Okay. But the organizer isn't only for evidence. I keep people's profiles on hand in it, too. Dude, he might have jet lag. It's, it's probably a good idea of making the habit of checking the facts often. Oh, that's why. That's why Edgeworth's a little slow on the uptake for the tutorial case, because he's jet lagged. Yeah. <laughs> Prosecutor's badge. Proof of my profession. However, I prefer to keep it in my pocket. Yeah. We're not going to present the prosecutor badge all the time. Oh, uh, maybe. Who knows? He's not- he doesn't need to show off his prosecutor back. <laughs> Bullet went for clean for the abdominal area, profiles. Buddy Faith, 29. That's young. 
detective in the precinct and the victim. Why was he killed in my office? Gumshoe is 32. Homicide detective. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I, I want to check more. I like how they just have the pictures of these people oh, what's, in the background. What's nice is you'll know you've examined everything you need to in the area if he stops saying, oh, I won't rest until I've inspected every nook and cranny. That's and, cool. and instead he'll be like, I've already checked this area, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it again. Your files are all over the floor, sir. They probably fell during the struggle between the victim and his killer. Okay. Aw, oh, and I tried so hard to keep this place spotless while you were away. I mean, this just rendered all the time and effort I put into it pointless. I don't recall ever asking you to clean my room. Well, I watered the flowers every day just like you requested, sir. I just added cleaning to the list as a weekend special. For about half a day, every Saturday, I'd come in and clean the place until it sparkled. Does he have a life? Let's see here. Oh, same thing. Yep. I thought his hand would have something special because he's bloody. I don't believe it! I packed those files on these shelves so tight that not even an earthquake could make them fall off. But just look at them! At this rate, the rest of the files won't be able to withstand an earthquake at all! Uh, a problem, to be sure. Well, once the investigation is over, we'll put them back up on the shelf. Okay. I think that's everything. It'll be fine. Yeah, I already checked this area earlier, but it never hurts to take another look. Cool. Are we logicking or are we doing Let's examine else? the whole room before we do that. Ah! Watch out for the teacup fragments there, sir! Yeah, the killer is going to pay this tea set! Yikes! You're really mad over this! This tea set is very dear to my heart and can only be bought in England. It costs more than your whole month's paycheck. What? Now I feel like the killer is wasting one of my monthly paychecks! <laughs> Oh, poor Oh, it's your trophy! The, um, Knight of Prosecutors, right? Cain, Cain of Prosecutors. And it's not a trophy, it's a shield. They only send this to the winning prosecutor, right? Yes, but I have no real interest in the perceived worth of other people. Then why is it out on display? As for my own worth, that is something only I can determine for myself. Amen, dude. The, that's so slick, sir! I'm gonna try saying that sometime! Unfortunately for him, his monetary worth is tied directly to his worth to me. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing my Steel Samurai doll was spared any harm. Speaking of which, I still haven't actually sat down and watched any of that show. What's it about again? Well, I don't know much about it myself, but... <laughs> the hero of the Steel Samurai, the warrior of Neo Old Tokyo, is the Steel Samurai. And his goal is to defeat the evil magistrate. It's a show geared towards kids. However, its high production values and riveting plot draws it in a number of adults as well. Spin-offs like Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo and The Nickel Samurai. Along with the deluge of merchandise and even a few st a new stage show gives it presence. You sure know a lot. Are you sure you're not some kind of rabid fanboy? Uh, of course not! Anyone that keeps up with society knows at least this much. <laughs> and that conversation lasted longer than expected. Let us return to the investigation. Is this yet another batch of fresh flowers? The ones that come with a card attached every month like clockwork for you? Yup. Speaking of that, let's see what's on the card this month, sir. All will be resolved. Wendy. <laughs> oh, Miss Irony, how painful are thy forms. Wendy, isn't that the name of the old lady with the whiny voice that's stock? That's enough, detective. You need not remind me further. <laughs> okay. She still stalks him, apparently. It's been a while since I've sat at this desk. Oh, how I've missed you. Hmm? It's so tidy that it looks newer than when I first bought it. Oh yeah! That thing's so polished it makes my mirrors jealous. Don't tell me you had no other work the entire time I was away, detective. My job is to protect your office, sir! And you did such a good job protecting it that a murder occurred in it. That's harsh, sir! <laughs> I have to admit, the desk has never looked better, so I guess I can't dock his pay. You, let me see that. Let me see that. <laughs> How's it coming on? <laughs> Please, I need absolute silence. Figure for lifting his delicate art. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> let's leave. Oh wait, before we do that, let's talk to Gumshoe. Wait, your logic. Uh, you called, sir? Is there anything you noticed that you'd like to share, Detective Gumshoe? Just that I rushed over here as soon as I heard there was a murder in your office, sir. The investigation's just getting started, so I've got the, I guess there's not much else to say. So, uh, uh, were you the one that found the body, Mr. Edgeworth? 
Unfortunately, upon my return, I found my office door to be unlocked. And what waited me inside was this whole messy affair. Ouch, that's rough. Even though I left the security of this room to a certain detective. S sorry, sir. You look so depressed. I assume you understand how to conduct investigations, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, sir. Examine fiends by tapping them or by touching the examine button. Uh, by checking various fiends out, we gather evidence and information. You can see the evidence we've collected by touching the organizer button. Uh, for information, information, uh... For information and leads, it's the logic button. That's it! Great job, sir! Deductive reasonable is the way to go! It's called deductive reasoning, detective. Clearly something you lack. Yeah, he doesn't know what logic is. So. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of logic, logic before! <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have picked up a, good, a few good leads. Oh, so now you're gonna do that thing where you do with all that information, right? What are you babbling about? The brainy thing you were talking about just a few minutes ago, sir. Um, logic. You said that you can look at all your leads and info by touching the logic button. Then you pick the pieces you want to connect by touching them and hitting connect. That's your way of investigating, right, sir? Yes, which is why this exercise in explaining my own method to be me was unnecessary. Okay, then how about I explain my logic to you next? That is even more unnecessary. Alright, killer's goal. Why was he in my office? Signs of a struggle. Files are a mess pointing to a struggle between the victim and the killer. Revolver. Found that the crime scene is the same model as those used by the precinct detectives. The victim was a detective. And he was a precinct detective. <laughs> he was a detective. Well, maybe the detective and the revolver go together? That would seem to be the case. The revolver, the standard model used by detectives. Could it have belonged to our recently departed? Detective Gumshoe, could you please thoroughly check the victim's body once more? Yes, sir! On it now, sir! Excuse me, pal, let's see. What have we got here? It's not like he's alive. Mr. Edgeworth, sir! This guy's wearing a gun holster! Hmm, so it appears that our killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. Victim's revolver data added to the court record. Or the organizer. I'm gonna always say court record. That's fine. Let's see what else we can find out about the revolver. As I always say, you've got to look really carefully at each piece of evidence. You can use the scroll wheels to rotate an object. There's no such thing as a bad angle. Use the slide bar or the X and Y buttons to zoom in and out to get all nitty gritty. To think that it's so easy to take a life with just the pull of the trigger. You know, I can't ever see myself really liking guns. Oh, but I love the ones they use at the track and field meets to start races. If you take off before it's fired, everybody always ends up following your lead. To chase you down for a false start, detective. Now that you mention it, even when I finish first, I always wind up in last place. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, there we go. That. It looks like only one round was fired from this. Wow, so the killer killed the Vic with just one shot after wrestling the gun from him? Sounds like the guy knew how to handle a gun, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? We have no proof for now, but that is a distinct possibility. I guess this is about all we're going to find out. We should send the body to the odd- Jim! Why, why? How could this have happened to a guy like you? Are you alright? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Just let me be! <laughs> Isn't this the buff guy that we saw earlier? <laughs> it certainly looks like him. Sorry, but I can't do that. The investigation is still ongoing, so please refrain from touching the body. The body? The body? Don't talk like him like he's just some lump of flesh! Look at him! Jim looks like he just turned in for the night! Um, sure. Just in a bloodstained suit, pal. His name's not even Jim. Yep! Well. Where are my manners? Aren't you that prosecutor? Well, yes, I am. I'm Jacques Portsman, prosecutor. Jim, he was my partner in crime busting. His name's not even Jim. His name's Buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Buddy Fresh? Buddy Faith. But, oh. B Buddy, Buddy Fresh! Fresh. <laughs> Buddy Check. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> I'm Miles Edgeworth, and like you, I am also a prosecutor. Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. So, you're Miles Edgeworth. I guess this is your office? Yes, that is correct. Then it was you! You're the one who killed Jim! Hey, don't go around jumping to conclusions, pal! Just calm down, okay? I will not! I know how things work around here! High prosecutor's office doors all have locks built into them. And only the owner of the office has the key to his or her own office door! 
That is correct. However, I was not the one who killed your partner. Yeah! Mr. Edgeworth has been overseas on a business trip this whole time, pal. And the key to the door was with me the entire time, okay? So the only one who could get in here was me! <laughs> Wait. That means... I'm not sure what that means. So it was you then! You're Jim's killer! No way, pal! You got it all wrong! Everyone calm down! Mr. Portsman, correct? If you are a real prosecutor, you should know to stay collected. The investigation has only just begun. Isn't it too early to be drawing conclusions? Oh, alright. I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little too hot-headed sometimes. Yeah, like with a gun! <laughs> <laughs> you sure are one cool customer, though, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. You're something of a legend, you know. Stop holding the <laughs> thumb in your face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's call truth and work together, okay? Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Then you taste so. A pleasure to work with you. You guys were conducting your investigation, right? Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on, then. It's your room, after all. Thank you. I intend to. I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. You there! Uh, sir! <laughs> I want you to capture this scene on film for me. My final farewell to my partner, Jim. What? This- <laughs> these Instagram people are going too far. <laughs> uh, no. I should probably give them some space. Alright, I think we're gonna have to wrap up the episode there. Cool. <laughs> Leaving Mr. Portsman sounds like a Mega Man robot master. Portsman? <laughs> Ports Portsman! What would he... Oh, <laughs> he'd be he like an portals? anchor. Portals? An anchor guy. Oh. Like, at the port. He just, like, throws anchors at you? <laughs> why? Well, a fan game has Anchorman, so why not? Okay. Anyhow... Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in for future episodes of this Let's Play. It's sure to be... Even if the game itself isn't... It doesn't have, like, an amazing story or, like... Yeah. That's okay. There are a couple of problems I cool. have with it, but it's fine. It's still funny. We're Hopefully we'll have witty commentary and I hope some so. funny stuff. I just realized Can't you didn't get... To yeah, you didn't Can't get to voice to anybody. <laughs> Edgeworth doesn't like the ladies. He keeps all dudes around. Yeah, it's kind of true. Actually, wait. Is there... Are there any female characters in this case? There might be one. <laughs> I think there's one. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to future Let's Play. Maybe it'll be a female judge. Play. Female judge? We haven't seen that yet. That's true. Uh, We've only had much. two judges. <laughs> the only... Yeah, the only two judges I've actually seen in real life. One of them was epic. And one of them, <laughs> one was, of them was, was Judge like, Judy. <laughs> no, one of them was like this epic gal. She was awesome. And then one of them... I, sorry to say, but it literally was like Mace Windu. Samuel L. Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson. He was just so much that sounds awesome. Super nice. Anyhow. No, I wasn't on trial. Tune in for the future. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.